going in, right? Yeah. Should be okay. At, at the bottom of low tide, can't get through up there. Okay. And they got rid of that big rock. There, there was a huge, there used to be a huge rock here, and at high tide, if you reversed up and didn't know about it, you'd hit it. That looks nice. The last time I was here, at high tide, yeah. flicking plastics along that sandbar, yeah. something's grabbed it and gone straight for the trees. Couldn't, whatever it was, I couldn't stop it. Mango Jack. Yeah. Wow, it's windy. It is. Luckily, we didn't get no well off. Yeah. <laughs> Wind trouble. But yeah, looks good. Good morning, everyone. As you've seen, me and my mate Tony out today at uh, on the Logan River. We were supposed to be out two hours ago, but someone went back to sleep. He did. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we both went to sleep. <laughs> I woke up at 4 a.m. like, ah, oh, not too early. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> he did the same. He did, he did on the couch. But today, um, along with my video, there's also um, my new kayak. There's going to be um, a review as well on this kayak. This is the 2020, uh, 2019, 2020 Hobie Outback. Okay, I picked this up just yesterday. I haven't really decked out the way I wanted it yet on it yet. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be different to my PA. Uh, more stable, more uh, versatile than the, um, the Revo I had. But um, yeah, more light as well. And this is the same PA that uh, Tony's got. <coughs> He's always had this one. So uh, I've seen him use it pretty well out in the bay and everything. So uh, I did the same thing. Yeah, unbeknownst to Sonny, before we leave, we're actually swapping kayaks. No. And he won't <laughs> even know. That won't happen. <laughs> but yeah, as you see, that's a loading spot. Very unusual this morning. I haven't been here before. He's always been on the car because Tony knows it very well. He's caught some nice flathead here. So uh, I've always wanted to give it a go. Up until today, finally. So new area, new kayak. Let's get some fish. Fingers crossed. I've been chasing a flabby and I'm pretty sure I'm onto a flabby. <coughs> it's been a quiet morning. Oh, nice flabby. <coughs> Landing fish. On this kayak is going to be interesting. There you go. First fish on the first fish on the new kayak. I got no lip ripper, no nothing, no rag, no nothing. This is gonna be interesting. Just gonna jab me in the leg. Yeah, it's good to go out in the new kayak and you know test it out, see what's need, what it needs. 
That's where you can tackle some real stuff. What on earth happened here? Oh, oh there you go. Get this guy a quick measure and then send him on his way. And a fun one, of course. <laughs> Ow, got me. Measuring this kayak's a bit not as easy as a PA either. It's, it's very slim. The way is my phone, my phone's in the hatch. <laughs> there you go. Ah, you gotta find new things every time. That's ready. Well, mate, just post for a photo, I'll let you go, okay? So I gotta put both my legs up on the side to measure this, take a photo of this fish because it's, it's only got a very small, um, small leg room. Yep. Room 40, uh, 42, 43. But yeah. <laughs> don't stab me, don't stab me. <sighs> oh. mm. There you go. See you, buddy. I'll feed a noodle there as well. Oh, <laughs> there you go. There's way how you cushion a new, a new, uh, new vessel. <laughs> Get slime up my my uh, hand and keep pushing. So here I've been. Um, it's going in tight, and I've just been this water rushing out from the shallows out there. So I just pepper out with the deepest where the drop off is. Even though it's coming in tight, it still works the same. You got to find somewhere where the the bait goes over your uh, uh, where you, uh, where this little fish would go over a, a ledge or something, and just fish at that little run up there. That's what I'm doing. Um, Charlie dropped one earlier right there on a on a trolled um, Dewa uh, double clutch. So I thought I'd come back and pepper it and I got one. Only a small one, but uh, yeah, so to start the ball rolling. <coughs> Let's go. There should be more there. Another study, I think. It's right up in the shallows. This one is slightly bigger. Ah, uh, same. Don't wet me, mate. There you go. Second one. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Got my feet. Spike my foot. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> That's the thing of having a small kayak, yeah, okay. <laughs> you get something vicious on board. You won't be seeing me pulling a, a, a shark on this boat, on this kayak. No way. <laughs> yeah, take a photo of this guy again. Let's see how big he is. Pretty roughly, roughly the same. Size as the other one. Huh, same size, roughly. Basically. Where's my phone again? Oh, it's here. I need a rag.
bag, I need a lip ripper. Very few things you need the first time on the boat, but that's good. It gives me a chance to uh, to fish it and know what it needs. Ah, uh, sit still, mate. Are you finished? fish, this naughty fish. Ah, sit still. Now as soon as I let him go, he... Okay, I want this to go together. You hold it, you sit still. You slow me up in my boat, mate. <laughs> I'm tripping up real far too. This guy is feisty. Oh. Okay, how about it? There you go. Basically, another 42 anyway. Now you can go back, okay? There you go, guys. Another nice flatty. And he's gone. Oi, kill. Oh dear, I got a big flatty. Oh. Uh, it is a flatty. Don't know how big yet. I think it's pretty decent. Yep, it's a pretty decent flatty. Oh, oh dear. That's a decent sized flatty. Big flatty in the shallows, hey. It doesn't like the net. Oh no, oh no, it's on the rub on the leader. He's on the leader. There you go. <laughs> Big flatty. <laughs> oh, I might need to be in the beach here before I can get him out. Let's beach. Oh, this wind is crazy. Beach, beach. Come on. What? Oh, he wants to go out. <laughs> Hey, you're going to have a net too. Uh, that's a corker. It's all that good too. I know what a, what a thump. When I when I picked it up, I heard like a, a thump. I'm like, oh, yep, that's a big one. It's not really that big, but it's up, it's up there. <sighs> I didn't bring a bad rack mat today. <laughs> oh, he's not that big. He's probably around 40, uh, 40, 50, uh, 40, 49, probably 49 centimeters. Well, guys, that fish escaped just then. 
I was trying to take a photo with him and uh, he said, no, not interested. <laughs> we, grew, we grew out of my hand and in the drink and took my lure with him. So uh, I'm going to tie up a new one. I've been throwing um, one sixth ounce. Um, this morning I was throwing one quarter. That was already on the rod. But after a while I realized it's real shallow. So I changed back to one sixth and uh, that's what I've been catching my fish on. So three flatties so far. I haven't had Tony catch anything yet. He's all the way up ahead of me, probably like another, probably like, I don't know, 300 meters in front of me. I think I've got to chase him down. Yeah. But yeah, that fish escaped. Let's go get another one. So, uh, fishing with Tony, he tends to troll a lot. So he's, he's left me behind. He's all the way up in there. Uh, probably where near the, where they take the water in for the prawn farms. We're down here at the prawn farms down here. That's a head, that's where they drain all the water in, uh, suck all the water into the dams. But yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I've got a double clutch in the water. I'm gonna throw up and chase him. <laughs> Let's see if I can grab another on the trail on the way up there. Well, it's a long paddle. So I'm covering a lot of area with trolling, so uh, I should be able to get a little spot more while I'm chasing him. Big flatty. Big flatty. Ugh. Oh, this is a big girl. Yep. There you go. Not a big big, but okay. <laughs> That's the thing on the outback. When you get a flatter, you kind of wax you around because you're sitting in amongst the fish. That's okay. It's definitely rubbed on my leader. Oh, he's only been inside. He smacked it and I, uh, I striked and hooked on the outside, I think. Yeah, another 40, uh, 40, 43, 45 around there. Photo. There you go. Fourth of plenty for today. Let's go, go. Oh, it's inside the mouth. Oh, it's going to be hard to get this guy out. And I'm getting blown across the river. Yeah. Fire job. There you go, one. Another nice one. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> it's gone. Killed the fourth one today. I've caught up to Charlie's. He's up there. Don't know how many he's caught. We haven't seen him for the last hour. I was in a rush this morning. I forgot to bring my uh, radio out to talk to him. My UHF radio. So, well, uh, 
hit the bank over here again where I just caught that. Hopefully uh, I'll meet up with Tony when he drifts down and we'll see how much he's got. What the heck is this? I want it in a smacked it. It's red. I thought it was a flatty. It's not. It's like a tailor or something. What the heck is that? Yeah. I think it's a catfish. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it's not. What the hell? It's a mullet. <laughs> what the hell? A mullet on a... <laughs> oh, that's a first. What did you catch that on? Uh, David Bait Junkie. Look at this. <laughs> I thought it was a mullet. Oh, slimy. Look at this, guys. How's that? I gotta take a photo of this guy because. <laughs> That's weird. Should have bought your big rod. Look at my A mother taking a soft plastic. What the hell? Anyway, you look tasty, but see you later. <laughs> that was a catfish. <laughs> Ty is still going in guys, it's about to turn I think. What is it? It's exactly midday, 12 or 7. So <clears throat> fingers crossed it turns very fingers crossed it turns very soon. I'm just uh oh there's a bite. Oh there's a flutty. <laughs> there you go, <laughs> another flutty. <laughs> Tiny little one. But yeah, uh, before I was really interrupted, I'm just peppering these little runoffs here. Same thing I do down the pin, but um, ideally you want to do that when the tide turns. I'm giving it a go now, but uh, when the tide turns, I'll be back here again. Calm down, mate. Calm down. Yeah. Need a test. There you go. Uh, fifth flathead today. Four flathead, eh? I can't find a brim anywhere. So yeah, as you can see, the run up there. That's all you do, just around the mouth. Oh, I'm on already. Maybe it's start already. Tiny little one. <laughs> they say where there's a little one, there's a big one. Yeah, it's about the size of that a little hay. Biggest for the day. <laughs> oh, there's a big one in there. Yeah. Poor Tony's only got a whiting. <laughs> and, the, and the bird smacked it on the way in. <laughs> so he, did, he didn't officially land one because. <laughs> yeah, I need a more in there. <laughs> yep, the mouth, so, mouth of these creeks certainly does it. Reverse. 
Oh, that's a big one. I knew there's a big one in there. <coughs> oh, let me mission land this thing, eh? I might need to stand up. That's a decent flatty. That's a nice flatty. Come on, mate. Come on. Oh, he don't like the net. Come on, you're rowing my leader, mate. A six pound leader there. Just testing the leader. Yep, it's definitely got that deep down. That's probably the biggest today. Uh, let's see how big this guy is. <coughs> awesome, that creek was very, really, very really shallow. Just at the mouth there, bang. Only took a couple of seconds before it smacked it, eh? Look at it, it's rubbing the leader. I need to change that. The leader's frayed. <laughs> I got no brag mat today. So I got, I'm guessing that's probably around the 30, around 38, or uh, 40, 40, uh, yeah, 48, 47, 48 or so meters around there. Alright, we'll take this picture of this guy and put him in the center back. <laughs> so this guy's uh, bit my hook up again. Try and take a follow with it. Should be okay. There you go. Away. One. In the mouth there again. I'm going to reverse out so I don't disturb it. So I do want to catch more <laughs> out of there. Get this little guy off. Six, uh, five, six. Five, yeah, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven flatties already. Not too bad. See if there's another one in there. There seems to be a crab pot in front of it too, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to avoid it. Because I hooked the crap up earlier and uh, I managed to get my lure off. But they're not sitting over here now, they're sitting on the other bank. So I might do a circle, get on the other bank and cast it in from there. Because I fished this side already. That's the thing with lure fishing, you kind of pepper the whole area. You know if you, if you fish there, there's no fish there. So you move to the next spot. <coughs> I know I fished this bank already, but the other bank I haven't. So there should be a flatty in there. Tide's just turned too, so yeah, I'll be looking for all these little runoffs. I wouldn't be surprised if there's fishes all the way in there, hey. There should be another fish here. Yep. Goodness. The beauty of my, my reverse drive, eh? Oh, that's all right. I've got crab pot. No good. No good. There's a lot of flurry in there. Got another one in there. Little one.
Thanks, buddy. Good morning. Good morning. Bye bye. Another little buddy. There's not much room in the kayak, hey? Okay. That's a big flatty. Oh, that's one of the big flatty. Yep, that's a big flatty. Oh, <coughs> wrap me up good too. Um, man, I really need a lip gripper. Hey, I don't know how big this one is. <laughs> I don't know, fifty something. <laughs> Awesome, man. Photo, photo. I'm going to take a photo with this. Uh, leg out of the way. <laughs> That's a nice flatty. Okay, let's put this girl back. Didn't wreck my leader. That's a good fish. There you go. Blue is out. Alrighty, you guys. That's about the biggest fish today. Today, I'm thinking of 50 something centimeters. I haven't got a lip ripper, I'm using pliers just gently in its mouth, but yeah, beautiful day today with Albert Tony. I don't know if I'll catch any more, but yeah, Tony! <laughs> just showing him, I've caught, I think, nine flatty or something. But yeah, enough talking, let's put this girl back. Gone. It's only been out for a couple of minutes, two minutes, three max. So yeah, awesome. Calm down, mate. I'll let you go. Thank you. <laughs> I'm catching fish left one, Sam. <laughs> Tony's just pulling up there, ready to go home. I have one with a couple of cars and bang. <coughs> and you know, little guy. That's my uh, 13th flatty, I think. I think, I've lost track. <laughs> well, guys, we're back at the ramp. You know me, I don't like being dirty, but this is how they launch here. I've caught a total of 13 flatties today. Tony got... Uh, donuts. A big fat donut. But yeah. Sonny uh, is banned from fishing with me again. <laughs> I only fish with people who catch less fish than me. <laughs> um, 
with a review of the Harvey today. You've got identical ones, identical kayaks, and I really wish I bought it earlier. It's okay, so this one goes in my yak. <laughs> it's definitely one of my favorite kayaks uh, up to date. Um, yeah, my PA trial is very good for what it does, but it's very heavy. Um, on the water, it's good. I, I do notice I got a sore back, a little sore back from it. That's for me not adjusting the seat properly. And yeah, I really haven't got time to adjust anything because I got it yesterday in here. I'm on the water already. <laughs> Couldn't wait. But I, I find um, I find everything layout is pretty good. But that rod there, if I leave it there, it just sits. It sits out of the way, just down there. So uh, I'm thinking maybe I should put like um like a holder here or something. I can just strap it on there, and it sits there out of the way. Just a little bit of Velcro. Yeah, Velcro, or maybe like a clip. Or you just give me the Volky, and you won't have to worry <laughs> about it. So yeah, um, it sits out of the way. It doesn't really up the nose. It doesn't really affect it either. So all we know is a very good kayak for, uh, for what it does. It's very light, very uh, very. Uh, Renewable in the water. It turns, the yeah, it turns on a dime. I'm just staying up and everything on it, so it's good. I wish I had a snap of it. Yeah. That guy's annoying, eh? <coughs> but yeah, um, had four rod holders, which is very unusual. Don't really think I need that. So all I really need on this thing is probably a fish finder. That's it. And I'll be set. Oh, what, after catching 14 flatty, you think you need a fish finder? Thirteen flatty. <laughs> I want one more to make it no, not the ugly number thirteen, but uh, yeah, that's the best I can do. So you just proved my point, Sonny. You don't need all the whiz bang gadgets to find fish. That is a whiz bang. <laughs> huh? These kayaks are really good quality, so they are whiz bang. And it's got dual dual control handle too. Yeah. Which is awesome. I the rebel only one, which is really annoying. So uh, yeah, it's good. I like it. So that's my review for this question. For this uh, hobby, this my fourth hobby up to date. I had a 14, a 12, a Revo, now an Outback. And this is my favorite one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed my trip today. And if you do, give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I'll catch you in the next one.